We were the funny man. <laughs> How many of us have them? Funny man, comedian, actor. Before we go any further, <laughs> Tommy Davidson. He worse than the Paul, come out. Yo, he worse than Paul Mooney, man. Real rap. He, he's oh, like, anybody worse than that? Bro, no, no. I, he's Jack Sparrow. He what? He's Jack Sparrow. I don't know, know who that is. I'm a little Pirates of the Caribbean. Sorry, Pirates of the Caribbean. No, I knew who it was. I'm just a little. I was playing a little okay, slow okay, just okay, now. Okay, okay. Okay. Yo, man. First of all, I gotta say that was that was a crazy show, man. I gotta be here tomorrow, man. Uh, man, please come through. Um, most definitely, man. Um, you know, it, it's like I had some stuff in my head already. Though we gonna come from the off the cuff. He just checked out for those that may be looking, listening, and looking at this. He was checking out the science of my show. Of course, of course. You know, the you got it happening. You got it happening. Oh, you got it happening. We, what we have here is we have the Omax. Right here. He don't know about that, man. That's the Olmecs. So that, 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 Who that, are the Olmecs? Well, the Olmecs are some stone statues that were left in what is today Costa Rica and Panama. But um, it's, it's, proof that, it's proof that the Africans were in um, Northern America before Columbus. the American, before, before Columbus and the Americans, oh, which really? stands to reason because the Moors gave them the, navigational yeah. gave them the navigational instruments and the navigational knowledge I love to know guy. where that stuff was first. But, truthfully, the reason why the Portuguese started the slave trade, it made all the sense in the world, because they were the first ones to know that that stuff was over there. And Christopher Colon, Christopher Columbus, as oh, we Columbo. know of, Christopher Columbo, Columbo, Columbo. Colon, Christopher Columbus was one of the first actual slavers to go up and down that coast. So it stands to reason. So we but actually, he was lost. Exactly. He was, he was lost. He was lost. And he had Moorish uh, captains. So he didn't know where he was or if he was even going to be able to refine him. Mm. This night right here Which one? is uh, in the middle. That's Tutankhamun's <laughs> sarcophagus. Mm -hmm. You might have to leave. Okay. You got to leave, baby, if you can't be quiet. What's, 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 what's wrong with her? Come on, let's go. Let's go. You got a baby, you can't laugh through this. Come on, what's wrong? What's wrong? Excuse me. What's wrong? Let's go, come on. You ain't gotta go home, but you gotta go out here. It's I gotta go home. Serious. Why? <laughs> it's so funny. Well, it's so funny. Got her. Can't talk about right, me? Wow, oh, let me tell you. Yeah. Where are you from, babe? Brooklyn. No, your family. Ethnicity. Brooklyn, New York. Ethnicity. Yeah, American. No, you're Italian, right? Yeah. Oh. All right. That's why I bought it. Okay. Yes, it's spiritual. Okay. Now, no, no, no. Yeah, because we're going to talk about that. Because black you know what? It's so, so that was a spiritual reaction. It is reaction. sad. Yeah. It was yeah. sad yeah. that... No, you know, that was a spiritual reaction. You no, know, this is... I know that. And this is like when you right. were saying that, she knew it. If I was... Yeah. It's a movie with... No, 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 innately, innately, she knew. Exactly. That's all. It wasn't... Exactly. It has nothing to do with her. Wow. It's almost like when you come to a brother... And you say, hey man, do you know where the, uh, I'll give you an example. Um, I'm, I got a cab this morning, and I had my bags at the curb, and the guy, the black guy the, from Ethiopia opened the trunk, mm -hmm. and he said, come on. And I said, if, if I have to move my own bags, I'm not tipping you. So when we got to the hotel, he looked at me, and I said, I told you I'm not tipping you. And he looked a little confused. The reason why he was confused was because he didn't understand why he didn't help me with the bags in the first place. Mm. And it's what Franz Fagnon, who's one of the foremost psychiatrists, psycho psychologists of our time, who was actually blocked out of the picture, mm. who Malcolm X studied from, Mandela studied from, and Fidel Castro studied from, mm. who died in, um, in the late 50s in a hotel room with the CIA in front of it. But he's... he's, he's uh, foremost psychology psychiatrist and he published a book called well he has a book that was published of all of his work and his essays on the racism that's in European psychologists uh, Jung and Freud and their theories hmm. not only that but he um, he set all the modern reforms that are in mental hospitals these days wow. so they were set up like prisons mm -hmm. he's the one it was his idea that you can open them up and let people walk around he also overthrew the Algerian government while running the top paper in Algeria and treating the revolutionary soldiers in the hospital at the same time, served in the war, and is from Martinique. You and you you on point, man. I thought you oh, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't 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 yeah. get it twisted, man. So, you think he, so it's he so was what slow, my man. point is is that what Franz Fagnon's theory, psychological theory, is is that we're in a post colonial psychology. 
And what he calls that is an auto-destructional stage, which is the oppressor will oppress for so long that the oppressed no longer have to be physically oppressed. They do it to themselves automatically. Exactly. So he was having an emo he was having a psychological response to me, not understanding that it was elicited by what Fagnon described. Mm. You see what I'm saying? But what it did was it hurt his income. So see what we do is we hurt ourselves in that way. Mm -hmm. That's all. And so the same reaction came from her. It's not, it's not conscious. Mm -hmm. It's not conscious. What has happened to us is a lot deeper than conscious because if it wasn't, we can just figure it out. So why do you think, I mean, why do you think they hide this from us? I mean, let's think about what you just broke down mm -hmm. about the Allman mm -hmm. kids. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to throw something at you. Okay. okay. Do you know about Mount Rushmore? No. Mount Rushmore, listen to the name, the rushing of the Moors. Right. Mount Rushmore, and you just talked about the Allman right. kids. Right. Right. Centuries later, what happens, they're going to say these guys were here before. Right. The same way he did with this. Right. But we were already here. And it was right. funny that she was sitting there laughing because there's a movie. I, I do radio also. The movie know? with Christopher Watkins. I would love for you to get on this radio the show. Where he said, you black Moors. I saw it. Exactly. He said, the Sicilians romance. were spawned by niggas and yeah, the Moors yeah. are niggas. True and romance. it's like, why? You know, and they, and they try True to suppress romance. it. And this yeah. is why I love what you said earlier about the whole mm -hmm. um, internet piece. How, how we're issuing this, pushing mm -hmm. this stuff out mm -hmm. on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, also, I don't know, you heard Nas' new album? No, I haven't. You got to get it. Okay, okay. He said the problem is he started thinking like the colonists to Noble Drew Ali started dropping that consciousness. Okay. So what happens, you on point with the whole Moors right. piece. And it's like, we I actually, maybe I could throw that out to these. We need to do a movie on the Moors. Yeah. The well, Moors. That, that's, that's ironic that you point that out, but that's the, the epic feature that I want to do. I'm with you. Man. Epic, I and I'm, with when you. I say epic feature, I mean the epic feature like you got um, Gladiator and you got Troy. Mm -hmm. And those movies, not 300. That was a cartoon. Yeah, but but <laughs> I'm hurt this guy. Yeah, he's, huh? he's, he's funny. I'm talking about you know historical. I, I know, I know. You know, like like Alexander. And, yeah, yeah. And and that's that's one of my first goals is to do the Moors. Anything as you an, need on as, a, as an epic, mm. as an epic. Okay. So that's one of the projects. But back to this, um, and also Mount Rushmore is actually a knockoff of uh, Ramsey's tomb. Exactly. Exactly. And it's a knockoff of the the tomb that was actually moved because they were going to flood the Nile, so they moved it. It's actually a knockoff in stone because Africans were the only ones that worked in stone. Exactly. Africans taught the world how to work in stone. So it's just really a knockoff, just like the Washington Monument is a knockoff of Queen Hatshepsut's mm. obelisk. Mm. And, and, and the obelisk... That's from, history, yeah, people. The obelisk, <laughs> the obelisk from Queen Hatshepsut's actual temple, mm -hmm. there are about four of them in existence. There's one that was man-made by, by um, Benjamin Banneker. Big Ben Bay. Right, whose father was, was actually um, uh, Dogon, whose mm -hmm. grandfather was Dogon. So mm -hmm. he understood astrology and he understood um, irrigation and he understood those ancient arts. Thusly, that's why he wrote the first American Almanac. Almanac, exactly. He was able to do that through that knowledge. Um, but the obelisks were placed there by the Masons, who, who are outgrowth of the comedic mystery system. Exactly. So we talked to a, a scientist. Yeah, yeah, people. yeah. So, so there's, a, there's, there's, there's interestingly the the obelisk. There's one in Washington D.C. Yeah. It's a knockoff. <laughs> yeah, we just right? came from there. Okay, but there's one in front of the Chantal Leon in Paris. Mm -hmm. There's one in front of the Vatican. There's one in front of Scotland Yard. And there's yeah, one in Washington D.C. So how, and, and, oh yeah, and there's one in Central Park that no one knows is there, that was dedicated by the Moors. Mm. I mean, that was dedicated by the Masons. Mm -hmm. So here we got, you know, millions of Africans from all around the world in New York City, and they don't know that the actual, actual real obelisk that was at Queen Hatshepsut's temple mm -hmm. is sitting unguarded, unprotected in Central Park at this moment as we